Hey, what's up, folks? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me and my buddies here, Shadow and Red from Irish Zombie Nation. And we're out here camping in beautiful northern New Mexico. Check out those views behind us. My God. So stay tuned for the full adventure coming soon. But for now, I thought, you know, I have these special guests, these good buddies that I know for a fact happen to be, you know, gearheads when it comes to multi-tools and knives and firearms that, you know, now that I have them here, uh, let's see what they're carrying in their pockets for this adventure. So thank you for joining us. Let's get started. So up first is going to be Red from Irish Zombie Nation. You've seen him many times on my channel. He has a YouTube channel as well, longtime buddy of mine. And the main difference between Red and I is he's a biker. So he's going to approach the EDC mentality with a different philosophy than I do. But then, of course, he's down here in the southwest as well. So there will be some similarities. So take it away, Red. All right. So uh, like James said, I don't, I don't own a vehicle. I ride a motorcycle every day. So I carry everything on me. I don't have saddlebags. I don't. You know, I have one little bag I'll carry on the sissy bar every now and then, but mainly everything that I want, I have on me at all times. So this is going to be a lot of stuff compared to most people with their phone wallet keys and they're out the door. So James likes to start with uh, headwear and work your way down. So we're going to start with my hat. This is a hat by Overland Sheepskin Company. It's called the Desperado. It's made out of leather. Really nice hat I picked up. I don't know, uh, maybe six, seven months ago. I don't know. But I'm really digging this hat. I try to wear it as often as I can. Uh, and going down from there. Uh, start with the vest. I wear a leather vest. This one's made by First Manufacturing Company. It's got a lot of pockets. It's made for concealed carry as well. So we'll start with this pocket. I have a small knife dangling off of here. This is a CRKT Minimalist Bowie design. This is just my little utility cutter or my get off me knife. In other words, if uh, I have my firearm and, you know, I for whatever weird reason was having to point it at somebody and they try to take it from me, I can reach over here, grab this and do a little jab. <laughs> but more than anything, I'm cutting open boxes and stuff with it. <laughs> All right, inside this pocket, I've got, let's see. Uh, I've got this little bag with some coins. I'm not gonna pull the coins out, but it's coins that have been given by Cuervo Negro, by Fox, uh, by different friends over time. There's an old silly thing about it. If you gift a knife to somebody, you give them a penny in return so it doesn't cut the friendship. So I've got a few of those in there because I've given away quite a few knives in my day. Uh, I got a Irish Zombie Nation sticker in case I just want to pimp the channel. I don't really make videos anymore. I might every now and then if I want to, but I still carry a sticker around just in case I want to stick it on something. Uh, wood comb, sandalwood comb I use for the beard. I don't have any hair on the head, but this thing gets rather, rather wiry and messed up when I'm riding, so carry that. All right. Oh, nice. So I can straighten that out. There we go. All right. Over in this pocket. I only have a small little pouch that I picked up off of eBay by Viperade. Viperade, uh, I did a review on my channel a while back about this little EDC flashlight pen leather pouch you could put on your belt. I looked up some of their other items and they have these different little mini pouches. So in this one, in the back, I've got some emergency cash, like 40 bucks. I've got a bit extender for my Leatherman. I've got this other little ratcheting bit extender situation. I got 13 inches of measuring tape in case I want to measure my penis. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that long. <laughs> but uh, I got that in there. And then I've got, what else is in here? Oh, the file. Because I usually have the saw in my Leatherman, which I'll show you that in a minute. But I have the file in there in case I want to use that. All right. Let me put these back in here real quick. And move on to the other side of the pouch. I'm just going to shove it in quickly as I can, not bore you too much. All right, this side, I have half of a credit card. Got a credit card in half. I wrap one inch Gorilla Tape around there. This many purposes for this, and you gotta repair a tent, a tarp. Uh, your boot falls apart. I had to loan some to James when we were camping in Missouri because his boot fell apart and he had to put it back together. Use that until he got home. I also have a pocket bellows. This is just a little fire tool. You extend it out like that, blow into it so you don't have to get your face down in a fire if you're gonna restart a fire. And I have fires almost every other day or every day. So it's very easy. You don't have to restart the fire. You just get the coals and blow on them. And there you go. All right. So that's it for that pocket. Inside pocket. I've got this one that's meant for a cell phone. I just have a small pair of dollar store aviator shades in there. Then concealed carry pocket. That's where I carry my Glock 17. This is a Gen 3 Glock 17. I recently reacquired this. I had sold it and then bought it back from a friend. Uh, and so I'm just carrying it because I haven't carried it in a while. I usually carry a SIG P365, similar to the one James has. 
But I thought I'd bring this out just because I haven't used it in quite some time. I also carry this little baggie is a pair of nitrile gloves. These are for if I get caught in the rain and I'm riding the bike, I don't want to get my glo my gloves are going to get soaked no matter what. But if I want to keep my hands dry, I put these on and then put the wet gloves over them so that I can take them off wherever I'm going, pull these off, turn them inside out, put them back on, reuse them. But the main thing is wet gloves when you're riding for a long distance suck. So I carry those around. All right. Other inside pocket over here is absolutely nothing. <laughs> Thought I had something there, but I don't. Uh, I've got a Bic lighter in here right now. Just as a backup, just an orange Bic. You know what those are for. And then over here, I've got a little thing of Dramamine because I get motion sickness. <laughs> and I just found out that this stuff works really well because I was sick as a dog riding out here and this stuff saved my ass. James went and bought it for me. So thank you, James. <laughs> All right, and so down here, I have a core essentials belt. This is a ratcheting style belt. Uh, there's a review on my channel of it. They come in different varieties of buckles, different varieties of material, leather, uh, this nylon wrapped leather, blah, blah, blah. If you want to check that out, go to my channel. You can check out the review on it. Uh, over here, my motorcycle keys. I always have those with me. Nothing special about that. Uh, a little Samsung. I don't know what these are called. They're like an Apple AirTag, but it's made by Samsung because I go with Android. So something in case I could lose my keys, I can find them with my phone. Moving over to this side, we'll start with this pocket. Just my keys, standard set of keys on here, and then some tools I carry. A uh, Victorinox nail clipper, foldable nail clipper, a Leatherman Micra, which is the one with the scissors and the tweezers. And this is a little titanium toothpick. You just unscrew that, and you've got this little bitty titanium toothpick. Wide variety of uses for that. All right. That's pretty much it for the keys. I don't care. Oh, well, no, I also have this. This is a, a little set of uh, earbuds for when I'm riding. If I'm riding long distance, the wind noise is extremely loud on a motorcycle. So I put those on so it kind of muffles it a little bit. I should wear them more often, but I don't. Down in here, the hot hands that I was using last night that I never took out of my pocket and a little piece or a, a hank of five, well, no, not 550. This is number 36 bank line in case like a shoelace breaks or something like that, or I need emergency quarters for a variety of reasons. This has got to go back in the trash. And then I have some coins down in here floating around two quarters, nickels, dimes, that kind of stuff. All right, over to this pocket, I have, this is an Uzi Tac Pen 7. Been using this for years. It's a nice, elegant tactical pen. It's got some DNA collectors on the sides right here. In case you got to jack someone, you got the DNA in there, you can give it to the cops, say, hey, this is the guy I jacked in the head that tried to rob me. <laughs> But more than anything, it's a pen. Also a glass breaker. It can break, break glass on either end. All right. Down in the pocket. Another one of those little Viper Aid pouches. This one is, I kind of use as a wallet. I've got a Bic lighter on one side. And then this little sucker is kind of cool. I bought it off Amazon. It's a bottle opener on this end. And then also a charging cable for my phone. USB-C charging cable. You can just attach that to your key ring, but I keep it in this little pouch. And then on this side... Is where I carry my cash and a little Ranger band. I use this on the on the lighter over here in case I want to just wrap the Ranger band around the lighter to hold the button down. That way I can keep it ignited and hold the tip to light fires or candles, something like that. All right, so next we're gonna go with my belt knife. This time I switch it out every week. I've got a few really nice knives that I like. This one, this is a different sheath, not the one that comes with it, but this is the Winkler belt knife. Uh, 80CRV or CR2, yes, 80CR2 steel, uh, dark walnut handles with the, uh, tribal inlay that they do. They also have sculpted micarta and a variety of other ones, but I just have always liked this knife. Winkler makes wonderful knives. Kind of reminds me of the Dark Timber 1911 Elite, kind of that kind of design, but a much thinner handle. Uh, Winkler knives right there. Yeah, just a beautiful knife. I really dig the sucker. All right, and then... Over here, wallet, same wallet I've been using forever. This is the Maxpedition LPW low profile wallet. Yeah, low profile wallet, very thin. Let me cover up my ID. It's a little ID window right there and then cards and such right there. I like a thin wallet. I don't like sitting on a big chunk. Over on this side, back pocket, it's a new flashlight. This is the, what is this? This is the Olight Warrior Nano. So this is like the Warrior model, but it has the side switch and it has the tail switch magnetic. It's small. I can take it like this on my hat and I got a headlight. 
So I, I like that it's small. It's a heavier. The, the larger Warrior would go like this and bend it down. This one's perfect if I need a little headlamp. All right. And then just a pair of Mechanics Fast Fit Gloves. Use these when I'm riding the motorcycle, collecting firewood, so on and so forth. One more thing I forgot in this pocket over here. These jeans are made by Carhartt. These are Carhartt uh, relaxed fit rugged utility jeans or something like that. I don't know. I guess they're Carhartt jeans. But they have this really deep pocket right here as opposed to normal jeans have that really small watch pocket. So that's where I carry my Leatherman. I forgot to show you that a minute ago. Leatherman Surge. I've had this for probably 10 years or more. Uh, it's just to me my favorite multi-tool. So that's the one I'm carrying. All right. Put that back. Outside of that, I'm wearing Thorogood boots, and that's pretty much it for me. Uh, these are just the cheaper model. I used to wear the Thorogood Hellfires, but I couldn't afford them this time around. So these ones have side zips. I don't like the side zip, so I took the front zip that you can lace in for my old Thorogoods, and I put it on there. It doesn't fit exactly. You see you got an extra hole up there, but it works for me. Composite toe, not steel toe, so it doesn't freeze in very cold temperatures. And overall... Uh, watch is a uh, Samsung Galaxy Ultra something. The newest one, the classic Galaxy 6 watch, I think it's called. Uh, smart watch, so it's got compass and all kinds of stuff like that on it. Uh, and outside of that, yeah, that's it. That's my entire EDC. That is a lot of stuff. Most people phone wall the keys out the door, not me. If you don't have a car, which I do not own a car, I have all this stuff on me because I might need to use the Leatherman on the bike. I might need to, my lace breaks, I need lace. You know, I never know what I'm needing, so I carry everything with me. Is it heavy? Eh, a little bit, but I'm used to it. So works for me, might not work for you. So here's my buddy Shadow. Now, Shadow has been a biker for over 52 years. Not only that, but he is an avid outdoorsman. How you could say he's something of a nomad. He will travel across the Southwest and stay in different places for months at a time. So he's basically traveling. He has a mobile unit, you know, with his truck and his trailer and stuff like that. So that's the majority of his stuff. So he, he's able to afford a more minimalist carry than Red does as Red uses his bike all the time. So Shadow, take it away. Well, to start as Red did from the top to the bottom, I have a Sunday afternoon uh, felt hat uh, called the Rambler. Uh, I have a SC Pinch. Uh, it's a quick magnetic blade. Just uh, I use it for fishing and such and quick things. Wazoo Viking pennant with an emergency ferrule rod. This is always on me. Um, I carry... My cigar cases, I smoke cigars with a lighter. Now uh, here I have a Green River Hunter. Uh, this is 1095. I, uh, I've rounded the edges so that it's not so abrupt on you. The sheath that it comes with, well, actually it doesn't come with it. I purchased it separately, is a Tracks of the Wolf Mountain Man sheath. I embellished it with the brass tacks. I kind of like the look of that. Um, I'm also, I also have a Core Essentials belt, but I prefer the camo, sand camo pattern. Um, I also carry a small knife. This is the Adventure Craft, small uh, S35VN, great for everyday little tasks. And a little emergency ferro rod again. You never can have too many ferro rides, I imagine. Over here, I carry my firearm. This is a Ruger GP100 357 Magnum. Uh, it's the Wiley Clap version with the Novak sights. And I've got some full load 357s for bear in this. And let's see, I've got my wallet, my keys, and uh, that's pretty much it. Most of my stuff is in the truck, so I don't have to carry a lot of stuff on me. I do have some gloves. These are also mechanic leather gloves I, uh, on my motorcycle and as doing outdoor stuff, I always have them with me. Pretty much that's it. Don't need much.
Well, I'm already here, so let me give you guys a quick rundown of what I'm rocking for this adventure. So first things first, a hat to me is an essential. I do consider it part of your everyday carry because you're carrying it and it helps you with everyday stuff like keeping warm and protection from the elements in general, especially with me because I do have flashlights and stuff like that. So this is my Akubra, the territory hat. I've had it for over a year already. It's already starting to gain a patina from campfires and stuff like that. Of course, I do have a Robivon Aurora A1 flashlight in case I need a secondary flashlight or my hands are busy. I'm night fishing, carrying something, whatever the case may be. And then this little ornament right here is from a Buffalo nickel. My girlfriend got for me in a thrift store. She found and I just thought it was really cool. So I added it on here, you know, just give it a little bit of personality. Down here, I do have... My notepad and pen, I'm always writing down ideas for future uh, videos and uh, grocery lists and stuff like that. I'll sketch if I'm bored. And then a sticker I got for my girl when I, when I get back to her. So simple stuff. I'm not big into writing the rain. I don't like the way it writes. And then moving on down to my belt. Of course, I have a flashlight. I got this Sofern flashlight. Sofern SC13. Magnetic back, USB-C rechargeable, you know the deal, a thousand lumens. So just my usual EDC style light. I really like the design, the shape of this. I like the rubbery feel to it as well. Of course, I got a big lighter. You should always have a big lighter on you. And I think that's it on my person, I mean on this pocket. Of course, I got my firearm here, my SIG P365. We are, you know, in a wild country and, you know, you got to be careful with wild bears, you know, black bears and stuff like that. We haven't run into any of them, but better to have it and not need it, right? Nine millimeter, semi-automatic, all that good stuff. Back pocket, of course, I got my wallet. This is the extra wallet. Brings up my ID right there. And then this has a tracker. So with my app on my phone, I'm able to track this in case I can't find it. It'll start beeping for me. Love this wallet. Really awesome. This back pocket, I have a bandana. Always need a bandana. This is my old 2020 era junkyard fox bandana. It's a little gunky. I was cleaning some trout that I caught a couple days ago. So it may be a little fishy, a little stinky, but um, I'll switch out with another bandana in my pack once I get to my tent. This pocket, I do have my chapstick, of course, with my little uh, hack that I did. So it always has a little clip. That way it's not just bouncing around in there looking awkward. It's always ready to go right there. And then here in this pocket, I do have Air Forest Snipes Pickens Game Knife. I'm testing this one the last couple of months. I'm loving it so far. Love the sheath as well. And this sheath with the Kydex goes right here. I just don't have it on me because I was using my Snake Eater. So the knife that I'm using today is my Snake Eater knife. This is the original prototype. I had it basically retired for about a year and recently I was given this sheath from Howling Dingo from Australia and I wet formed the knife and after I wet formed it I was just like ah, I missed this knife so I brought it out and that's what I'm using for this adventure as well so so that's basically what I got on here oh of course I also recently upgraded my belt this is another core essentials just like red and shadow though mine is a little bit more subdued it's brown leather just because it goes with you know my aesthetic of cowboy boots and stuff like that but of course a tactical belt it helps you keep all this up without your pants falling especially when you have like a firearm and all that stuff so a uh, big thank you to my buddy Steven who gave this to me this was a an extra he had and you know I'm very grateful to have it and then moving on down to my boots, because we were in freezing weather, I mean, it's very cold up here, it's snowing, all that stuff. Um, cowboy boots are not good for winter weather, so I am using my Brunt boots. These things are extremely warm, you know, uh, non-slip. I don't. I have the composite toe because, of course, you don't want steel toe if you're going to be in freezing conditions. This, th these things have been keeping my feet nice and snug. And then I do have a boot knife, as with all my boot knives. And I haven't even used this one yet. This is a red fox given to me by James Hyde for my birthday a couple months back. Just an old traditional slip joint style blade. Double little blades here. I haven't used it this trip, but it's there if I needed it. And I just always have to add a boot knife to my boots. And review on my brunt boots coming pretty soon. And that's about it for me. 
Well, folks, that's about it for our EDC roundup for this adventure. Stay tuned for this four-day camping adventure in northern New Mexico. Really awesome, beautiful stuff, beautiful uh, scenery and great memories, some foolish moments with some whiskey. But I hope you guys got to see what they're rocking, you know, different tastes in terms of lifestyle, philosophy, even just your aesthetics and stuff like that. So it's always interesting. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, suggestions. And we'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.